Okay, now I can speak. So I'm so sorry for the previous detail, but I couldn't connect my audio. Just give me one second, please. Let me put my name. Let me go with this. So let me go for it. Okay, so good evening, guys. Believe me, I'm super happy to, I mean, being here with you. I'm super happy to work with you. My name is Christian Mueller. I'm going to be your teacher for this level. I am 27 years old. I am from El Salvador. I live in Santa Ana. I work for in support programs, but also I work for E4CC and also I work for Ministerio de Educación in El Salvador. So let me tell you that it's a pleasure for me being here with you in order to help you to learn English. So thank you so much for connecting and thank you so much for being here. Let me switch into Spanish. Mi nombre es Christian Müller, tengo 27 años, soy de El Salvador, vivo en Santa Ana, soy de profesión docente de inglés y no solo trabajo para INSAFOR, como les menciono, trabajo también para E4CC, también trabajo para el Ministerio de Educación. So it's a pleasure for me being here with you. Es un placer para mí estar con ustedes ayudándoles a aprender inglés. So we are going to start with the class, guys, because we have only one hour in order to, to speak and in order to learn English. So we are going to start with the first thing over here. Just give me one second. Let me, let me, let me go with the presentation over here. So this is my first presentation for you and we are going to talk about this. So welcome guys to Inglés Corporativo by Regal International. Your first level is Inglés Principiante Modulo 1. My name is Christian Bernardo Miller Palucha and your level is the first level over here. Now, general information about the online courses. Información general acerca de los cursos online. Durante el desarrollo de este nivel, guys, de inglés, se utilizarán las siguientes herramientas. You are going to use the following tools. Plataforma de inglés corporativo, la plataforma de Zoom y la herramienta de WhatsApp. So, en este caso, ustedes van a hacer la tarea por medio de la plataforma del inglés corporativo. Eh, luego van a utilizar la plataforma de Zoom. Y luego van a utilizar la plataforma de WhatsApp. Now, this is about the platforms. Let me ask you, ¿estamos claros con las plataformas que vamos a utilizar? Yes, ¿estamos claros? Yes. Cool. Now, in this case, remember, yes. plataforma yes. para hacer tareas, Zoom para conectarnos y WhatsApp para enviar tarea extra o para enviar contenido extra o cualquier duda. So, in this case... El horario de clases es solamente una hora por medio de, de Zoom, guys. En este caso, de esta de la clase anterior, de 8 a 9, pero en su caso es de 9 a 10 de la noche, de lunes a jueves. Solo que quiere decir que usted se va a conectar una hora de lunes a jueves a ver cómo desarrollamos el tema y a ver cómo les explico yo el tema para que usted aprenda a utilizar el tema y sepa usar el tema que vamos a ver. So that's why la reunión de Zoom es bastante importante. So let me go with this. El trabajo de plataforma, chicos, es muy importante. Es el 100% durante todo su nivel. En plataforma va a ser las tareas, va a ser los exámenes y va a haber su progreso. Por ende, tiene que tener el 100% en plataforma para poder lograr esto sin ningún problema y para poder, en este caso, tomar esto sin eh, ningún atraso. So, las tareas y evaluaciones deben obtener, y es necesario, es obligación obtener un, pro, un porcentaje del 80%, y las evaluaciones deben poder completarse en el curso satisfactoriamente. Las tareas se encuentran en plataforma, como les repito, se recomienda trabajar en ellas justo después de la clase. Puede adelantar el contenido o como usted quiera, si puede ir el día al día o si no adelanta. Now, todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completadas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, ya que este registro es enviado a Instafor semanalmente y amerita que en este caso tienen que estar actualizados. El material de, de, de apoyo será compartido por mí por medio de WhatsApp. Ahí van a tener material ex y ahí van a tener material para que puedan salir de dudas. Now, let me go to the platform. Let me stop sharing over here. Let me go over here, platform, 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 over here. Now, this is the platform. Esta es la plataforma que ustedes van a utilizar. So let me go with this. Now, you have in total of five sections. Tienen un total de cinco secciones. Por ende, como vemos aquí, en, el, en la presentación que yo les mencionaba, 
la sección 1 y 2 la vamos a completar esta semana. Ustedes van a trabajar esta semana en la sección 1 y en la sección 2. Why? Porque son temas cortos. Son temas que no les va a costar y son temas que rápidamente van a poder completar en la plataforma. Van a empezar a ver los positive adjectives, el alfabeto, the verb to be, and the numbers y los números. Eso es lo que vamos a ver esta semana. So, en este caso no son temas largos. La siguiente semana continuamos con el verbo to be, continuamos con las positive cases. So, lo mismo, no son temas largos. Aquí tienen todo para desarrollar las actividades y aquí tienen todo para desarrollar la tarea y ponerse al día para que usted pueda, en este caso, estar al día con su tarea y pueda seguir practicando inglés, que es lo más importante. So that will be about the homework. Esto es acerca de la plataforma. Now, if we are clear about the platform, if we are clear over here, guys, we are going to continue with this. Now, remember, and I will send this in WhatsApp, We have semana 1, sección 1 y 2, semana 2, sección 3 y, y el examen o el pequeño quiz. Semana 3 tenemos la sección 4 y la semana 4 tenemos la sección 5 y el examen final. Eso es lo que nos espera cuando nosotros dividamos esto en plataforma. Just let me put it in this case. Ok, let me go with this. Now... For the ones that it says que no escuchan, solo desconectense de la meeting, vuelvan a conectarse y así pueden arreglar el audio. So, en este caso, deben unirse con audio. Si usted no activa el audio, no va, no va a poder escuchar nada y yo no puedo activarles el audio. So, usted lo tiene que activar desde su dispositivo. So, please, desconectense de la meeting y vuelva a conectarse. Now, let's continue with the presentation over here. Let me go with this. Let me go to the... PowerPoint presentation. And let me go over here. Now, once you know cuándo van a hacer cada sección y once you know cuándo van a entregar cada sección, tenemos una lista de asistencia que tenemos que cumplir. So, usted se tiene que conectar obligatoriamente de lunes a jueves a la clase para que se le tome attendance, para que se le tome asistencia y pueda tener su asistencia completa. Recuerden que es una clase online, por ende su micrófono tiene que estar apagado. ¿Por qué? Porque si su micrófono está encendido, hay mucho ruido y ese ruido hace que genere interferencia con sus compañeros. So be careful on that, tenga cuidado con eso. Now, recuerde que es una clase en línea también y su micrófono y su cámara tienen que estar, bueno, su cámara tiene que estar encendida porque recuerde que es una clase en línea. ¿Cómo voy a conocerlo yo si solo con la cámara apagada están y solo dice María, por ejemplo? No los puedo conectar así. So, please, necesito que activen su, mi, su cámara y el micrófono lo van a activar cada vez que yo les diga, repitan después de mí o repeat after me. So, in this case, this is about the camera and this is about the microphone. Now, Paola, do you have a question? Hola, buenas noches. Sí, este, los participantes, por favor, eh, verifiquen de que estén en la reunión correcta. Revisen el grupo de WhatsApp, por favor. Eh, nosotros les hemos enviado el enlace en la reunión que deben de conectarse. Si gusta, sálganse solo un momento y únanse al enlace del grupo de WhatsApp porque eh, la máximo de participantes que tenemos es 30 y aquí hay 42. Quiere decir que hay 11 participantes o 10 participantes más o menos que no está en el grupo correcto. Eso quiere decir que no les va a contar la asistencia, por lo que es importante que se salgan y vuelvan a ingresar en el último enlace que les han enviado en el grupo de WhatsApp, por favor. Eh, las disculpas del caso. Thank you. So, chicos, revisen, por favor, que estén en la clase correcta y revisen que estén en el link correcto, por favor. So, please, please. Si usted sabe que este no es su link o que esta no es su clase, deje la clase y revise cuál es su link correcto, please, después. So, recuerda. Buenas recuerden. noches. Tell me. Buenas uh -huh. noches. Tell me, tell me. ¿Y cómo, ¿Cómo sé que es mi link correcto? Porque a mí me han enviado dos, dos enlaces. Mm. Entré al primero y, y no me dio entrada. Entonces, opté por el segundo. Ok. Just let me check that. En este caso, lo que hagan es, es si todos están en el grupo de WhatsApp, entonces el último enlace que ha sido enviado al grupo de WhatsApp, en ese ingresen. 
Ok, thank you. So, en ese caso, solo ingresen al último link que les han enviado a WhatsApp, por favor. So, una vez aclarado eso, recuerden, if you have any question, any doubt, solo levantan su manita digital para poder hacer cualquier consulta o duda y así poderles dar la oportunidad que usted haga la consulta. Pero tiene que levantar la manita digital para evitar el desorden y para evitar también interferencias de audio, please, please. Now, once we have this, solo recuerde que su asistencia tiene que tener el 80%. Recuerde que es obligación conectarse de lunes a jueves para que podamos aprender inglés, puedan practicar inglés y puedan sobre todo hablar inglés. Recuerden, es solamente una hora. Usted está aquí porque quiere aprender inglés, no español. Por ende, yo en mis clases, y esta va a ser la única excepción, que yo les voy a hablar español. De ahí, a partir de mañana, yo les voy a hablar full inglés. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos aquí para aprender inglés, repito, no español. Si estuviéramos aprendiendo español, yo les hablaría en español. Pero estamos aprendiendo inglés. Y si queremos aprender inglés, es obligación poder hablar inglés en este caso para que usted se adapte se ambiente y en este caso aprenda a escuchar y a relacionarse con el idioma. Pero si no le escucha y yo toda la vida les hablo en español, créame que nunca vamos a avanzar y nunca vamos a aprender en that case. Por eso es importante aprender a, a escuchar y aprender a, en este caso, prestar atención a los ejemplos que se le están dando para que podamos producir de manera correcta. So, once we clarify that, guys, we are going to start with the first thing. Vamos a empezar con lo primero. Just let me go with this. And everybody, let's go with the first question over here. Everybody, repeat after me, please. How do you feel today? Everybody, repeat, 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 please. How do you feel today? Uh -huh. How do you feel? How do you feel? How do you feel today? How do you feel today? Perfect, perfect, perfect. How thank you, you so much. Today? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, what is the meaning of how do you feel today, guys? Uh -huh. What is the meaning in Spanish? ¿Cómo te sientes ahora? Perfect. Now over here I will say today I am feeling happy. Now everybody repeat this. Today I am feeling happy. Today I am feeling happy. Today I am feeling happy. Today, today, am feeling happy. Now today, today, if I say today I am feeling happy, what is the meaning in Spanish, guys? What is the meaning in Spanish? That's correct. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Over here we have some emotions and everybody repeat after me, please. Calm. Calm. Angry. Angry. Sleepy. Sleepy. Happy. Worried. Proud. Hurt. Afraid. Shocked. Now, those are emotions, as those are emotions, feelings. So you tell me, how do you feel today? Now, you take your notebook, please, your pen or pencil, and tell me, okay, today I am feeling angry. Today I am feeling sleepy. Today I am feeling shocked. Today I am feeling angry. So you tell me, how do you feel today? You got 30 seconds. Write your sentence in your notebook, please. 30 seconds, go. Tell me, tell me, tell me. How do you feel today? Please, please. Tell me, tell me, tell me. How do you feel today? How do you feel today? Please, please. Tell me, tell me, tell me. How do you feel today? Please, please. Tell me, tell me, tell me. How do you feel today? How do you feel today? Please, please. Tell me, tell me, tell me. How do you feel today? Tell me, tell me, tell me, how do you feel today? How do you feel today? This is blessed. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Let me check your sentences over here. And let me go with Yancy Yvonne. Tell me, Yancy, how do you feel today? Today, I am feeling sleeping. Uh -huh. 
Thank you. What about you, Hugo Adalberto? How do you feel today? Hugo Adalberto, you are on mute. Microphone, microphone. Excuse me. Don't worry. Today Tell I am me. feeling happy. Thank you. Carolina Alfaro, how do you feel today? Today I am feeling calm. I am feeling... Feeling calm. Thank you. What about you, Vilma? How do you feel today? Today I am, I am feeling happy. Thank you. Zulma del Carmen, how do you feel today? Today I am feeling happy. Thank you. Valeria Elisa, how do you feel today? Valeria, microphone, microphone. Oh, mute, oh, mute, oh, mute. Yes, tell me. Yes. Today, I am feeling sad. Thank you. I'm so sorry to hear that. I hope that everything is good. Now, Edith Moreno, tell me, how do you feel today? Today, I am feeling happy. Thank you. William Enrique, how do you feel today? Today, I am feeling calm. Thank you, Marvin Danilo. How do you feel today? Today I am feeling sleeping. Thank you, Nelson Rutilio. How do you feel today? Today I am feeling happy. Thank you, Carla Zaray. How do you feel today? Carla Zaray. Uh, no, Carla Zaray. Carla, no le puedo escuchar. Cheque su micrófono, please. Reinaldo, Antonio, how do you feel today? Today I am feeling tired. Thank you. What about you, Salvador today, Antonio? Thank you. Salvador Antonio, tell me how do you feel today? Okay, let me tell you. Today I am feeling calm. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Carla Esmeralda, tell me how do you feel today? Today I feel happy. Thank you. Feeling happy. Perfect. Jancy Stephanie, how do you feel today? <laughs> Janse Stephanie, let me say this in Spanish. Me está fallando el audio, se escucha como. Así que cheque el micrófono, cheque el audio para que no nos falle. Thank you. What about you, Karina Canales? How do you feel today? Today I am feeling happy. Perfect. What about you, Monica? How do you feel today? Today I am feeling sleepy. Difficult. Carla Sofia, tell me, how do you feel today? Today I am healing, I am feeling happy. Thank you. What about you, Claudia Araceli? Sorry, how do you feel today? Today I am feeling sleepy. Thank you. What about you, Maria Auxiliadora? How do you feel today? Maria, you are on mute. Microphone, microphone. Yes. Okay. Today I am feeling happy. Thank you, Melissa Giselle. Tell me, how do you feel today? Um, Thank you. What about you, Jenny Guadalupe? How do you feel today? Today, I am feeling tired. Thank you, Eva Elizabeth. How do you feel today? Today, I am feeling hungry. Thank you. Now, Rosa Feliciana, how do you feel today? I am feeling happy. Thank you, Ada Nilsson de Jesus. How do you feel today? Microphone, microphone, you're on mute, yes. Today I am feeling happy. Perfect, Carlos Alexis, how do you feel today? Today I am feeling happy. Delia Marisol, sorry, Dalia Marisol, I'm so sorry. How do you feel today? Dalia, Dalia, yes. I am feeling happy. Thank you. Ruth Noemi, how do you feel today? I am feeling happy. Thank you so much. Wendy Gar Graciela, sorry, how do you feel today? Today I'm feeling sleepy. Thank you. Alex Belloso, how do you feel today? Today I'm feeling happy. Thank you. Elizabeth Barrientos, how do you feel today? Today I'm feeling happy. Thank you, William Alfredo, how do you feel today? William, 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 you are on mute, microphone, microphone. And not there, okay, cool. Marina Yamilet, tell me how do you feel today? Marina Yamilet, five, four, three, not there, okay. 
Oh, yes, it's there. Tell me, Maria. Maria, that's right. Today, I'm feeling happy. Thank you. What about you, Sophia Abigail? Tell me how do you feel today? Sophia Abigail? No, there. Okay. Kenya, just tell how do you feel today? No, Kenya, just tell. My Noor Santos, how do you feel today? I'm feeling a little sick. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. And Talia would see, sí, I think it's Talia. Talia or Talia. I don't know. Okay, let me go with Gutierrez. How do you feel today? Aha, uh -huh, Talia Gutierrez. Uh, hi, my name is Talia. Oh, and I'm I, so sorry. <laughs> uh, today I feel happy. Thank you so much. That's good. Now, thank you guys for your answers. I appreciate a lot. You are doing super cool. You are doing super nice. And let me go with my second activity over here. For my second activity, guys, we are going to talk about this. And let me go with this. Everybody repeat after me, please. Subject pronouns. Subject pronouns. That's correct. Everybody repeat after me, please. I. I. Now, what is the meaning of day. I in Spanish? Yo, 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 yo. What is the yo, meaning of yo, you yo, in Spanish? Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> What is the meaning of he in Spanish? What is the meaning of she in Spanish? What is the meaning of it in Spanish? Yes, that's correct for animals. Remember, animals, animals, animals. Let me go with we. What is we in Spanish? That's correct. What is you in Spanish? Ustedes. What is they in Spanish? That's correct. So this is about subject pronouns. What are the subject pronouns, guys? The ones that we use to speak in English. Just let me put it over here, please. Okay, let me put it over here. Let me share this in WhatsApp so we can have the information over here. And there you have. So let me go with this. And now, if we are clear with the subject pronouns, let's move on to the possessive adjectives. Now for the possessive adjectives, guys, repeat after me, please. My. My. my your. Your. your this. This. Her. Your now what is the meaning of my in Spanish? Me, me. That's correct. No, me or never. Me miss. What is your in Spanish? Perfect. What is his in Spanish? But, one second, please. Let me put it over here on mute because I have the voice. Okay, now, remember his is for masculine, for man or men in this case. What is her in Spanish? So, so, but, yes. What is it in Spanish? So, so, so. But that's neutral. That's correct. What is our? That's correct. What is your? But that's correct. And the last one, but not this, der. That's correct. Good call. Now, in this case, this is about possessive adjectives. Now, in other words, guys, the possessive adjectives are the ones that we show for possession or relationship. And let me explain this topic to you. Déjenme explicarles esto a ustedes. Just give me one second, please. Possession. Be careful with the microphone, please. Be careful, be careful, be careful. 
Let me go with this. Let me put it on mute. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me put it on mute over here. Okay, cool. Now we are going to talk about guys, possessive adjectives. And for the possessive adjectives, guys, we are going to use this first for showing our possession or for showing relationship. What is possession in Spanish, guys? Possession. Yes, what is relationship in Spanish? Una relación sentimental. Yes, um, no, no about feelings because you can have a relationship with your mother, with your father, with your friends. And that's not something that, I mean, you are not with them because you love them. No está con ellos porque los amas, sino que porque así le tocó nacer con ellos. So that's why. I mean, it's a relationship only. Now let's go with this. Position and relationship. We have a position, guys, with the objects. For example, my cell phone, my headsets, my computer, my car. Mm -hmm. That's position because I pay for the things. Because I get money, money, money for the things. Now, our relationship is only for people and animals. Because in this case, let me ask you, can you possess your mother? ¿Podemos poseer a nuestra mamá? Mm. Uh -huh. no. 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 Never, never. Your mother is free to do whatever she wants to do. Su mamá es libre de hacer todo lo que ella quiera hacer. So in that case, si su mamá quiere comer, va a comer sin pedirle permiso. Si su mamá quiere dormir, va a dormir sin pedirle permiso. Why? Because she is a person. Porque ella es una persona. So in that case, you cannot control people. And let me put it a clear example over here. When you have a boyfriend, girlfriend, husband or wife, cuando tiene novio, novia, esposo o esposa, you cannot control them. Así si usted quiere estar pendiente de qué está hablando en el chat, no puede controlar ni a su esposo, ni a su esposa, ni a su novia, ni a su novia. Never. Why? Because that's possession and you cannot possess people. Usted no puede controlar cómo va a actuar la otra persona. Así tengo una relación sentimental con usted. Depende de la otra persona cómo se comporte. But you cannot do that because that's possession. Y usted no puede poseer una persona. Why? Porque no puede controlar el comportamiento de la persona. Y si la persona le quiere ser infiel, y disculpe que toque el tema así, le va a ser infiel. Y si la persona la quiere respetar, la va a respetar. But it will depend on the person. Va a depender de la persona. So, because it's a relationship. Porque es una relación. So, es un vínculo. Now, with animals, it's the same. With the animals, even though you pay for the dog, así usted haya pagado por el perrito, the dog is free to do whatever he wants to do. El perro es libre de hacer lo que él quiera hacer. Si el perro quiere comer, va a comer. Si el perro quiere ir al baño, va a ir al baño. Si el perro quiere dormir, va a dormir. Y you cannot control that. Y usted no puede controlar al perro. Why? Porque es libre de hacer lo que él quiera hacer. So that's why we cannot possess people and we cannot possess animals. Let me ask you, if I say my mom is a possession or a relationship? Relationship. Relationship, perfect. My dog, relationship or possession? Relationship. My car, relationship or possession? Possession. Possession. My cell phone, possession or relationship? Possession. Possession. That's correct. So we need to be clear. We have to have clear over here. What is a position and what is a relationship? Tiene que identificar usted que es una relación, que es una posesión. And this is not about toxic relationships. No, it's about you. Es acerca de usted cómo usted identifica si es una relación o si es una posesión. And it will depend on you. It depends de usted. Simplemente. Now, let me share with you this. And also, let me share the pictures because we need the picture. Just give me one second. Let me clean. Let me copy the picture. Let me go with this. Okay, now, this is about position and about positive adjectives. Right now, we are going to practice. And for example, over here, we have the family members. Everybody repeat after me, please. Mom. Dad. Grandpa. 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 Grandp
Brother. Brother. Sister. 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 Grandpa. Grandpa. Cousin. Cousin. That's correct. That's about family members. And over here I will say, uh, my example, possessive adjectives, remember. My mom. Or my dad. So everybody repeat please. My mom or my dad. That's correct. Now this is my example. This is my example using the possessive adjective. Give me one second, please. Too much background noise. Okay, now this is my example using possessive adjectives. Now you give me one example, please. Using possessive adjectives, please, please. You give me one example using the possessive adjectives. You have 30 seconds. Write your sentence in your notebook, please. For example, your grandma, your father, his grandpa, his brother, her grandpa, her sister, their brother, um, or brother, or grandpa, etc. Tell me, tell me, tell me, please, please, about your possessive adjectives. Her sister. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Yes, like that. 30 seconds, you have 15 seconds, please, please, please. 15 seconds, 15 seconds. Tell me, tell me, tell me about your family members, please, please. Let me go with this. Just give me one second that I need some screenshots. Okay, let me take the second screenshot. One second, guys. Okay, let me see who is next one. And let me see over here. So, what are the numbers? 20 are numbers, and the last screenshot this one. Okay, now let me check your sentences over here and let me go with this. Now let's start with minor. Minor, tell me what is your example, please. Minor Santos, your example. My dad and my mom. Thank you so much. Talia Gutierrez, tell me your example, please. Talia, 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 you are on mute. Microphone, microphone. Five, four, three, two, one, Natalia Verde. Carolina Alfaro, tell me your example, please. My brother or my mom. Ah, okay. Perfect. What about you, Vilma Patricia? Your example, please. My grandpa, my cousin. Perfect. What about you, Sulma del Carmen? Your example, please. My sister or my brother. Thank you. Good job. Edith Moreno, your example, please. My mom. Or my sister. Perfect. William Enrique, your example, please. His brother or her girlfriend. Perfect. Or her girlfriend. That's cool. In that case, Marvin Danilo, your example, please. My mom or my brother. Thank you. Good job. Nelson Rotilio, your example. My mom or my sister. Perfect. Reinaldo de Antonio, sorry. Your example, please. Um, my cousin or my grandpa. Perfect. Salvador Antonio, your example, please. My mom or my sister. Perfect. What about you, Carla Esmeralda? Your example, please. My brother or my sister. Perfect. Jancy Stephanie, your example, please. Oh, I have problems with the audio. Todavía tengo problemas de audio over there, Jens. Check the audio, please, please. Karina Canales, your example, please. Her brother or her sister. Perfect. Monica Osorio, your example, please. Uh, the microphone, yes. Your sister he, huh? or his brother. Perfect. Carla Sofia, your example, please. 
uh, grandpa or cousin. Okay, but what? Your grandpa, your cousin, her grandpa, your cousin. What is the example? What is the possessive? What is the possessive que utilizó? I need the possessive. Plus is plus. Claudia, Arel, yes, Araceli, sorry. Give me your example. Uh, my grandma or my cousin. Perfect. Maria Auxiliadora, your example, please. Maria, Maria. No, Maria Berger. No, okay, cool. Melissa, just do your example, please. Your brother and your sister. Perfect. Jenny Guadalupe, your example, please. My sister or my, or my brother. Perfect. Eva, Elizabeth, your example, please. My brother, I maltrapa. And your grandpa, cool, cool, cool. What about your Rosa Feliciana, your example, please? Or cousin or their sister. Okay, or sisters. Now, Carlos Alexis, your example? My mom or my sister. Perfect. And Nilson de Jesus, your example, please? My mom or my grandma. Perfect. Carlos Araí, your example, please? Carla, Carla, no there, okay. Ruth, no, me, your example, please. Ruth, Ruth, Ruth. No, Ruth, no, me, okay. Hugo Alberto, your example, please. My sister or my mom. Perfect. What about you, William Alfredo, your example, please? William, William, microphone, microphone. No, there. Okay. Swani Hernandez, your example, please. Her sister or his brother. Perfect. Alex Belloso, your example, please. My mother or my, or my father. Perfect. Jancy, your example, please. My mom or my brother. Okay. Thank you. What about you, Kenya Gisal, your example? Kenya, you're on mute. Microphone, microphone. Yes. His brother or his sister? Luisa Alberto, your example, please. Alberto, sorry, my mistake. Ajá, Alberto, Luis Alberto. No, Luis Alberto. Okay, Jenny Concepción, your example, please. Sorry, de la Concepción. Jenny, Jenny, you're on mute. No, Jenny, okay. Valeria Elisa, your example, please. Valeria, Valeria. No, Valeria, over there. Elizabeth Barrientos, your example, please. My cousin or brother. Perfect. Marina Jamilet, your example, please. No, Marina Jamilet. Wendy Garaciela, your My example, brother please. Or sister. Thank you. My mother or my sister. Perfect. What about you? Who is missing? No, nobody is missing over there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now let's go with the next topic, guys. Let's go over here. You are doing super cool. You are doing super great with the possessive adjectives as well. So let me go with the typical questions. So let me put it up. Tell me about yourself. Yourself. Now, if I repeat, please tell me about yourself. Tell me about yourself. Now tell me what is your name. Everybody repeat please. What is your name? What is your name? My name is Chris. My name is That's correct. Now, this is my answer. Now, how old are you? How old are you? I am 27 years old. Where are you from? Where are you from? Now, everybody repeat, please. Where are you from? Where are you from? That's correct. Guys. In this case, guys, I will say, I am from. I am from El Salvador. Now, where do you live? Where do you live? Not about it. Where, where do you live? That's correct. Over here, I would say, I live 
And the last question, but not least, is this one. Just let me put it on mute over here. Okay, thank you so much. Let me go with this. And I will say where, where, and it's not typing, where, yes. Where do you work? Now if I repeat this, where do you work? 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 Now, if I repeat this, I work at Insta for programs. I work at Insta for programs. Thank you. Now, in this case, guys, what is the meaning of what is your name in Spanish? What is your name? Yes. How old, how old are you in Spanish? Años tienes? Años tienes? Where are you from in Spanish? De donde eres. De donde eres. That's correct. Eres. Where do you live in Spanish? Donde vives. Donde vives. That's correct. And where do you work? Perfect. Now you please tell me about your information. Please, please tell me what is your name. Tell me. tell me where are you from? Tell me where do you live? And tell me where do you work? Please, please. So tell me, tell me, tell me about your information. Please, please. Let me share the personal information over here. Oops, one second, please. Let me copy the info. Oh, Let me copy you? the info. Uh, uh, one second. What's your name? Where are you from? Okay, let me Where copy the info. You? I live in Santana. Where do you go? Okay, there you go. Uh, so right now, guys, you got two minutes so you can practice with your classmates. Two minutes so you can practice about your self. Please, please. Tell me, tell me, tell me about yourself. Let me go with this. Let me create the rooms. We are a lot of people. So let me create a room. Yes. And let me go with the options so I can move you automatically. So we are cool. Okay, let's go to the breakup rooms right now. Tell me what is your name? How old are you? Where do you live? Where do you work? And where do you, and where are you from? So let's go to the breakup rooms right now. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Practice, practice. What is your name? How old are you? What are you from? Practice, practice, practice. Hello. What is your name? Where are you from? Where do you live? Practice, practice, practice. Okay. Practice, 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 please, please. Where are you from? Where do you live? Where do you study? Where do you work? Practice, 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 please, please. Okay, practice. Don't speak in Spanish. Practice, what is your name? How old are you? Where are you from? Practice, 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 please, please. So practice, 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 please, about yourself. What is your name? How old are you? Where are you from? Practice, 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 please, please. Practice, 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 please, please. Um, my name is Suani Hernandez. I... Okay, 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 guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for practicing. I appreciate a lot. Thank you so much for the effort. Thank you so much for your time. And let me start checking because we had a lot of people over here. Now, Evan Milson, tell me, what is your name? Evan Milson de Jesus, what is your name? My name is Evan Milson. Thank you. What about you, Melissa Giselle? What is your name? My name is Melissa Lopez. 
Thank you. Sulma del Carmen, what is your name? My name is Sulma del Carmen Ortiz. Thank you. What about you, Monica Osorio? What is your name? My name is Monica Osorio. Thank you. Nelson Rutilio, tell me, how old are you? Young. Uh -huh. uh, 44. 44 years old. Yes, thank you. What about you, Jancy Stephanie? How old are you? Jancy, Jancy, Stephanie, Stephanie. On mute, on mute, on mute. Microphone, microphone. On five, four, three. No, there, okay. Marvin Danilo, tell me how old are you? I am 25 years old. Thank you so much. William Enrique, how old are you? I am 24 years old. Thank you so much. What about you, Suani Marice, Marice, Maricelis, I think, or Maricle, whatever. I am so sorry. I'm super bad with the names. Now, Suani, tell me, please, how old are you? I'm 22 years old. Thank you so much. What about you, Carolina? Where are you from? I am from El Salvador. Thank you, Eva, Elizabeth. Tell me, where are you from? Eva, Eva, Eva. Oh, mute, mute, mute. Microphone, microphone, microphone. Yes. I, I am you from El Salvador. I am from El Salvador. I am from El Salvador. Thank you, Edith Moreno. Where are you from? Edith Moreno, microphone. I am yes. from El Salvador. Perfect. Dalia Marisol, where are you from? Dalia, Dalia, microphone, microphone. I am from El Salvador. Thank you, Carlos Alexis. Where are you from? Microphone, microphone, microphone. I'm from El Salvador. Thank you so much. Rosa Feliciana, where do you live? I live in Lourdes. Thank you. Maria Auxiliadora, where do you live? Maria, Maria, the audio, the audio. Carla Esmeralda, where do you live? Where do you live? San Salvador. I live in San Salvador. Um, I live in Thank you, Ruth Noemi. Where do you live? I live in Salvador. In San Salvador. Cool. Now, what about you, Salvador? Tell me, where do you live? I live in Mariona from El Salvador. That's cool. Thank you. What about you, Hugo Adalberto? Tell me, where do you work? <laughs> I work in Monima. That's cool. Claudia Araceli, where do you work? I work in my house. Thank you. That's cool. Jenny Guadalupe, tell me, where do you work? Work in Seguridad Digital. That's cool. What about you, Reinaldo Antonio? Where do you work? I work at home. That's cool. What about you, Jancy Bong? Where do you work? Oh, in Rosa. Thank you, Carla Sarai. Where do you work? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Another. Okay, Valeria Elisa. Where do you work? Valeria, Valeria. I work at Metro Center. No, that's cool. Nice, Alex Belloso. What is your name? Alex, Alex. My name, you? my name is Alex Belloso. Thank you so much. Karina Canales, what is your name? My name is Karina. That's correct. Vilma, Patricia, what is your name? Vilma, you are on mute. Microphone, 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 microphone. My name is Patty. Thank you. Kenya Gisal, what is your name? No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My name is Kenia Romero. Okay, thank you so much. What about you, Carla Sofia? What is your name? 
My name is Carla Sofia. Thank you so much. What about you, Luis Dadalberto? Sorry, Alberto. What is your name? Super bad with the names. Luis, Luis, Luis. No, Luis. Okay, let me go with Marina Jamilet. What is your name? My name is Marina. Thank you. Minor, how old are you? I'm 25 years old. Thank you. Talia Gutierrez, what, how old are you? Talia, Talia, Talia. I'm 28 years old. Thank you so much. Appreciate, appreciate. Now, guys, thank you so much for your answers. I appreciate a lot. And Salvador, tell me, what is your question? Uh, my question is, let me tell you, um, uh, para decir gestor de tránsito o policía de tránsito. In that case, you can say it, police, traffic police officer. Traffic police okay. officer. Mm -hmm. You can say it like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's cool. Thank you so much. Now, guys, thank you so much for your time and thank you so much for sharing with me your answers. I appreciate a lot. And let me go with this. Let me share with you over here. And let me go with this. Now, with the possessive adjectives, guys, with the possessive adjectives, we say it like this. I will ask you, what is your mother's name? Now, everybody repeat, please. What is your mother's name? What, what is, is your mother's name? Now, over here you say, my mother's name is Lorena, for example. Now, everybody repeat me. My mother's name is Lorena. My mother's name is Lorena. That's correct. Now, over here, what is the possessive adjective, guys? My, my mother, your mother. This is the possessive adjective. Your mother, my mother, wife, mi mamá, tu mamá. So that will be the possessive adjective. Another example. How old is your father? Now everybody repeat, please. How old is your father? How old is your father? For example, my father. Father. Let me see how old is my father. Fifty-five, I think it is. Years old. Now he is fifty-five years old. Now this is about my father. He is fifty-five years old. Now you tell me how old is your mother and how old is your father. You have thirty seconds. Grab your sentence in your notebook and tell me how old is your mother. How old? Is, sorry. What is your mother's name and how old is your father? Those are the questions. Tell me what is your mother's name and how old is your father, please, as well. Tell me, tell me, tell me what is your mother's name and how old is your father? Tell me, Salvador, what is your father question? Is... Uh, coach, tell uh, me. how do you say my father, oh, my father tenía? No, oh, my father was. Was. My uh, father was. My father was. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Thank so you. In that case, my pleasure. Let me go with this, guys. Let me stop sharing. Let me check a little bit of the answer because of the time. So let me ask you, Salvador, what is your mother's name? My mother's name, uh, Maria Antonia Ventura. Is my mother's my name. Mother, my mother's name is Maria Antonia Ventura. Thank you, Minor. Tell me, how old is your father? He has 25. No, uh -huh. 50 he years has old. never, never, never. He is 50 years old. He is. Okay. Mm -hmm. One more time. He is 50 years old. He Number is 50 years old. Thank you so much. Talia Gutierrez, what is your mother's name? My mother's name is Ana Moreno. Thank you. What about you, Monica? How old is your father? Monica, Monica Osorio. Um, my father is 55 years old. 55 years old. Solva del Carmen, what is your mother's name? 
Zulma, 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 you're on mute. Microphone, microphone. Yes. Uh -huh. My mother is Flower. My mother's name is? Flower. My mother's name is? My mother name is Flower. Uh -huh. That's correct. What about you, Nelson Rotilio? How old is your father? Uh, Nelson, Nelson, Rutilio, Rutilio. Uh, 61 years old. Thank you so much. Alex Belloso, tell me, what is your mother's name? Uh, my mother is... Uh, uh, let me, let me, let me check on. Uh -huh. My mother's name is... My mother is named Rosa de Veloso. Thank you so much. What about you, Marvin? How old is your father? My father is 16 years old. Thank you, Vilma Patricia. What is your mother's name? My mother is Vilma. Now, for tomorrow, guys, you are going to practice. Tell me about yourself and practice the possessive adjectives. Please, please, please. Para mañana, practíqueme acerca de usted, la información, tell me about yourself, y practique sobre las possessive adjectives, please, please. That will be your homework. Esa es su tarea, aparte de hacerlo de plataforma, avance lo de los possessive adjectives de plataforma, porque eso ya lo vimos, ya lo puede completar, ya puede utilizarlo perfectamente. So please practice, practíquelo. Now, Salvador, tell me, what is your question? Con respecto a la plataforma, nos enviarán a el link a... Sure, ya WhatsApp. se los voy a compartir. No te preocupes. Ok. Eh, podemos usar en lo que es el Tell Me About Yourself, uh, The Connector, el uh, Tell Me, o uh, algún sure. otro conector. First, moreover, besides, se los voy a enviar más tarde. No te preocupes. Solo déjenme terminar de subir unas cosas y yo se los envío. Ok. Thank you, Paul. Oh. Thank you. Now... ¿Tienen alguna consulta, duda, pregunta, guys? ¿No? ¿No preguntas, no dudas, no consultas? Ok, cool. Mañana no. seguimos con el contenido, entonces. Thank you so much for connecting. Nice to meet you. Have a wonderful night. God bless you. Bye-bye. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Nice to meet you, too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.